Who is obligated to place the mezuzah on a rental home? When one rents a home from another Yid who is his landlord, the question comes up as to who is it the responsibility of to supply the mezuzahs on the doorposts. Mezuzahs are not cheap collateral and can reach up to $100 a piece for a good quality mezuzah. Whose obligation is it, the renters or the landlords? So there's a famous ruling in the laws of mezuzah that's called that a mezuzah is chayvas hadar, which means it's an obligation not upon the building, not upon the door, but an obligation upon the tenants that live in the building, that live in the home. Which means if I own two homes, one I live in and one I don't, the one I live in is obligated in a mezuzah, while the one I don't live in is not obligated in a mezuzah. And accordingly, the halacha is as follows as rules. The Gemara in Bava Metziah 101b, brought in Mechaber in Yeradea 291, halacha 2, and in Cheshen Mishpah 314, halacha 2. Then when one rents a home from another Jew, a Jewish landlord, it is the sole obligation of the tenants, the renters, to provide and supply the mezuzahs for all the doorposts of their home as it is their chiv, it's their obligation. They are the dar, they are the people living there who receive the obligation of the mitzvah and not the landlord. Furthermore, writes the Mechab and the Shulchan Aruch that if the door is unable to hold a mezuzah without some mending and reconstruction, it is the obligation of the renter to perform those renovations that are necessary for the mezuzah to be placed on the doorpost. Now various questions come up based on this such as when should the renter place the mezuzah on the doorpost? Within 30 days, after 30 days, when is the bracha said? Can he take the mezuzahs when he leaves the house to a different home? All this Amir Tzashem is subject to another discussion that will follow in a following halacha. Now what is the law if the tenant knew this halacha? And prior to agreeing on the rental conditions, he stipulated with the landlord that the landlord has to provide mezuzahs for his doorposts. And let's say it was even written in the shtar, in the document, that the doors must have mezuzahs. So if he went into the home and discovered that truly mezuzahs are found in each one of the doorposts, no problem, everyone's happy. But what if some of the doors are missing mezuzahs, or all the doors are missing mezuzahs, and the landlord straight out is not fulfilling his side of the deal. Does the tenant have a claim to void the agreement of rental or not? The Ramah rules in Yeridea 291.2 that even if one rented a home based on a chazaka, that it has mezuzahs on its doors and later discovered that it does not have mezuzahs, nevertheless the contract remains valid. The Alter Rebbe in chapter 437, Allah 7, regarding a similar scenario of B'dikas Chametz, brings a dispute regarding this matter and concludes that the landlord has the right to say I hold like the opinion which states a person does not mind fulfilling mitzvahs such as putting up a mezuzah whether it will cause him bodily exertion or cost him money he's happy to do so himself and therefore the contract remains valid Nonetheless, obviously, for purposes of honesty, the landlord should honor his agreement and put up mezuzahs, but nonetheless, this can't be used as a pretense by the renter to null and void the, the contract that they signed. Thank you for listening to shulhanarcharav.com. Our free services of making Torah knowledge available to the public depends on donors like you. Please help us continue our work for making even a small contribution at shuhanarcharav.com under the daily halacha dedication section or in the subscription page. Also, check out our online courses and many safarim available for purchase that will both enhance your Torah knowledge and help support our work.